Have you ever had a mouse problem in your RV? There's a mouse in the freaking trailer! We've certainly had a few. If you haven't yet, consider yourself lucky. But if you're watching this video, you likely have or are at least worried about the little suckers getting in. It's difficult to avoid them when you're in rural campgrounds and boondocking, but there are a few things you can do to help prevent them from getting in. Now that we have our mouse situation under control, we can pass on these five handy tips to help keep mice out of your RV. We had our first mouse encounter on our first big cross-country trip while camping at the Rainbow Falls Provincial Park in Ontario. The first thing you can do to reduce the chance of getting mice in your RV is to pick your parking spot carefully. Flat concrete surfaces with no vegetation are better than open fields with tall grass. The grass gives mice protection from predators and makes it easier for them to get close to your trailer. And if it's long enough, it could even provide a way for them to climb up. Also, beware of campsites where people have not been careful about their cleanliness. If previous guests have discarded food scraps, mice and other wildlife will be in abundance and eagerly awaiting their next feast. The weather makes a difference too. Be more alert for the presence of mice when it's cool and damp. They will be looking for a nice, warm, dry place to shelter and build a nest. Picking your parking spot can be tough if you've never been to a location before and aren't sure which sites would be best. Reading reviews ahead of time can help give you an idea of what to expect. Of course, sometimes you'll need to park in an area with a high rodent risk. In these situations, you should keep a sharp lookout for signs like mouse droppings or scratching sounds at night. The best way to keep mice from coming into your trailer is to reduce anything that might attract them. Make sure to seal up all your food in airtight containers. Keep all of your surfaces clean, and if you have a pet, clean up their food dish immediately after feeding and don't leave food out all day. Finally, don't leave around any bits of paper, napkins, or anything that might be used as bedding to make a nest. Even if your RV is squeaky clean and has no attractants, mice still may want to come in and make a home in a nice warm, dry environment. To prevent this, you need to plug up any potential entry points. RVs are full of holes. There are many places where wires and pipes enter, and most of these are not sealed tight. But don't just stuff the holes with cloth. Mice will just push or gnaw their way through. To seal these holes, the best materials to use are either steel wool or spray foam insulation. Just be sure to be careful when you're applying spray foam insulation since it expands a lot. Read the directions carefully and go slow. Finally, adding a properly rated screen over the furnace exhaust can also help prevent mice from getting into the furnace and ducting system. Now that you've cleaned away all the attractants and plugged up any potential entry points, you can go on the offensive. The internet is awash with suggestions for mouse repellents. And in fact, one of the top suggestions has been debunked many times, but still seems to come up in forums. Irish Spring Soap is constantly recommended, but according to top mouse YouTuber Sean Woods, it doesn't work at all. In fact, there have been reports of mice actually eating the soap. Another popular repellent, one that we tried, is the ultrasonic mouse plug-in. Again, some people claim that this works, but when put to the test, it doesn't seem to. In fact, we have since learned that there have been some false advertising claims and class action lawsuits around these devices. Dryer sheets are another one we would not recommend. Once they lose their scent, they could actually become an attractant to make nice bedding material for their nests. The one repellent we would recommend is peppermint essential oil. It's all natural and has been tested and verified to repel rodents. As a bonus, it also repels other pests like ants, wasps, and spiders. Do be careful with mint oil if you have pets though, since high concentrations of mint can be toxic to both cats and dogs. Be sure to put it somewhere that your pets can't access it. Okay, so this solution may not work for everyone, but enlisting the help of a feline friend can do wonders. It may have taken us a lot longer to realize that we had a mouse problem if Benny hadn't woken us up in the middle of the night with his hunting. Benny has already caught one mouse, and he seems to be thinking that there's another one hanging around too. That said, having a cat can also help attract rodents, since mice enjoy eating cat food almost as much as cats do. So if you do have a cat, 
Make sure to clean up well after they eat and keep their food sealed in an airtight container. Have you ever had mice in your RV? What mouse proofing steps did you take? What worked and what didn't? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, we'd really appreciate if you could give us a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and share the video with your friends. It really helps us grow our community and reach a wider audience. And in the meantime, keep, keep on living the life you've imagined.